Hi you and welcome to this little guide for Shadowrun Hong Kong and the mission The Dig. In this guide we will look at how to do some of the optional quests in this area. And if this guide helps you out, why not hit those like and subscribe buttons? Much appreciated. For some reason it started off, <laughs> off map so to speak, but yes, here we are in The Dig. And the characters will talk a little before you are free to move around. And you have two optional quests that you can do. You can steal artifacts for 5,000 and 10,000. And you do not, well, you should not trip the museum's alarm while doing so. So for this mission, I had Isabel with me, which is a nice bonus. But I think you are fine even without her, even though it doesn't hurt to have her. So in this first room here to the left, we have artifacts and you can see their value. Start grabbing some of the more valuable ones. And from this first room, we want to be at around the 5000 threshold. So if you pick the ones I am picking right now, you are on the right track. So that's it for the first room. Then move across the hall and we have a second room with two more valuable ones and one not quite as valuable. We have the dragon scales and the mummified heads. Grab those two. And that will give you the 5000 optional um, quest done and dusted. We are almost at 7000 so let's move on through the big hall to the second big hall. Do not go down a level, but go to this side room and open the door. And in here we have three more interactable objects. We have a bookshelf. I don't think it gives you anything, but if you have either strength or intelligence, you can interact with it. But I don't think you get any hints from it. So walk away. The interesting one in this room is this painting. And it's a, it's a painting with a plot beneath it. It reads The Lady of Shalott, 1888. And I thought that 1888 would be a hint, but it's an indirect hit, hint. Because in this terminal here, you can access the login field. And you can either go in if you uh, track the code, so to speak, or you can ask Isabel if she's with you. So I wanted to do that because I wanted the extra dialogue. In here, though, uh, access the office room controls and then select the menu up and restricted access allowed sync. And you can try decking if you have that, but I don't think that'll work even if you have a good one. So it's no use. And you can also ask Isabel why it's not working. And she will say that it's a tougher one to crack and she'll pass the bucket back to you. So here we go. So 1888 was the first thing I tried, but that didn't do it. So eventually, I had to think a bit wider. And that is what you should enter. I'm not sure if it um, does matter if you use like big letters or smalls, but I used the small ones and it worked. So anyway, now that we have opened this place, we have some additional rooms. I think the first one doesn't really have anything of value. You have this little alcove here. You can interact with these firearms or relics as well. Maybe a value to a professor, but you can't do anything. But this room has two very good ones, imbued pottery and mystic staff. And they are both worth over 2000 apiece. So grab both of those. And you have both the optional objects completed. We have now picked things for over 10,000 and we didn't trigger the alarm. So missions accomplished, you could say. And that's that. Both of them completed and we did not trip the museum's alarms. Well, that was that. I hope this quest video guide helped you get the five and 10,000 optional quests out of the way and not trigger the alarms. If it helped, why not hit those like and subscribe buttons, and I hope to see you again soon in a different video. Bye for now.